Hello and welcome. My name is Joe Heaney. I'm president of Walden Associates Environmental Consultants. I'm a New York State licensed professional engineer and my company performs environmental and geologic consulting services for businesses in New York City and Greater New York. Today we'll be presenting a webinar on EPCRA, the Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know, which is a law which requires the filing, annual filing of chemical inventory with the New York City DEP. Our content today will be an overview of the EPCRA law, the proceedings in New York City, filing deadlines, and then we'll have some Q&A at the end. Um, I'd ask you guys who are listening and following along to type in your questions and my system will read the questions to me and we'll take it from there. So let's get started. EPRA was created over 25 years ago as part of the Superfund Reauthorization Act of 1986. It requires businesses that store and inventory hazardous materials to annually calculate volumes of material stored and in essence, submit that information along with applicable MSDS sheets to a designated emergency planning coordinator. Although this law has been on the books for many years, in New York City, post 9-11, it was decided that no active collection of this information was, was on the way. And in response, the New York City DEP was delegated responsibility of the program and in order to make it work, they decided to charge fees and establish concrete filing deadlines. All of our allied members have auto body shops. Some, excuse me, some have auto body shops. Everybody has repair shops and showrooms. Um, typical materials stored can range from various auto fluids, solvents, paints, ethanol, glycol, etc., and these, these can be stored in small and large volumes, tank storage, drum storage, pail storage, etc. Everything that has an MSDS is quantifiable. Okay. After 9-11, the DEC, the DEP, excuse me, began enforcement of the program. The first year, all that was accepted was paper filings. Subsequent to that, filings could be made online. New York City mandates that all businesses file or declare yourselves non-applicable. Uh, it's been our experience that almost every business in New York has some uh, hazardous substances as indicated by a storage of whiteout, which is applicable. There's a threshold reporting quantity which can be checked and it also includes mixtures, in-house mixes, etc. Facility inventory form is prepared, which quantifies the volume of material stored, and then is mailed to the DEP along with an applicable fee. The filing can be made online, but past experience indicates that if you haven't filed online, you better start early. The deadline for filing is March 1st, and the process by which DEP allows access to its website is complicated. You file a preliminary paper, they send you a password, you verify the password, and then they allow access. This is done through the regular mail, strangely enough, not through email, and this can take three to four weeks. We've had uh, folks file and uh, file late because they haven't gotten online. Uh, although we have found that if you file online, you'll save yourself some money, whether it be in copying costs or otherwise. DEP maintains an online database of MSDSs, which allows the individual businesses to, to go on and from a pick menu, select compounds uh, that they have in their inventory. In this way, you don't have to submit PDFs or paper copies of MSDS sheets. So in summary, all businesses in New York City that store hazardous materials must file an inventory record indicative of their 2011 inventory. We recommend that that's taken at a snapshot. It doesn't mean the inventory on the first of the year or the last of the year. It's just one view of that inventory. That filing has to be done by March 1st, 2012. 
The anticipated filing fee for an auto dealership we found to range between 400, 600, 400 to $600, but in some cases we actually had a few uh, more. There's a matrix of chemical quantity and number of chemicals and quantity of chemicals that, that you look, essentially serves as a lookup table to the fee you'll, you'll pay. We've also found that fines associated with not filing can range between five and three thousand um, dollars, and multiple year non filings are additive. Walden has helped as many as 35 New York City auto dealerships and other industrial clients with right to know filings in past years. What we suggest is that you look into this early and begin the process to avoid deadline exceedance. Um, if there are any questions, yes, I see there are some questions. We'll take some Q&A right now. Thanks very much for listening. So this first question is from Jim. Uh, he says, DEP contacted me with questions on filing and said I could be fined. Uh, I did not file last year. What do I do? Uh, uh, good, great question, Jim. Uh, thank, thanks, for, thanks for listening to us here at Walden. But uh, okay, so Generally, what we found is that a filing this year to get into the system is uh, okay. There, there may be some follow-up after the fact, but filing late even is, is better than not filing at all. Um, once, you, once you make your filing, and, 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 and obviously I, I suggest proactively filing for 2011 before the deadline, uh, that would be all I'd do. I wouldn't recommend any uh, any additional uh, uh, contributions. They, they'll come find you if they require. All right. The second question we had is from Rob. He says, what fee will I file and how will that be determined? Uh, thanks, thanks for the question, Rob. Uh, the, the fee is determined, as I mentioned, based on the quantity of materials stored and the number of uh, the quantity as in the volume of, of total volume of storage and the number of separate chemicals you have. There's a lookup matrix that we, we get a filing fee from. Uh, of course, it's been rounded off, so it's $100, $200, $500, $1,000, that sort of thing. But uh, that, that's something that Walden can do in, if we were uh, selected to do some work for you. Okay, this next question is from Carmine. Uh, he asks, what happens if I don't file? How would the DEP know? Uh, once again, another good question. Uh, I don't know if I'm talking to Carmine, but hello, Carmine. Uh, I, I have had a dealing with a Carmine in the past. Um, if you've never filed, eventually DEP will audit for one reason or other. If you filed in the past and then skipped a year or two, they operate a database and their database will tell them that there hasn't been a current filing. They'll follow up either with a fine in the mail or, or an inspection. So once you get into their system, it's highly recommended you file annually. We have another question here from Melissa. She says, you said March 1st, 2011 deadline. When should I start? Uh, if you intend to do it yourself, uh, I would suggest um, give yourself at least a month. Uh, if, you're, if you're going to delegate that work to some outside person, such as Walden, uh, in that case, I would say the sooner the better. Um, we, we try to accommodate all of our clients, but sometimes, uh, you know, there have been times where based on volume, we've, we've had a difficult time in the last week or so to get the filings in on time. As I said, though, DEP is quite happy to have the filings come in and not filing is worse than filing a, a day or two late. Would that be 2012, by the way? Yes, that, right. The, the deadline is March 1st, 2012. Okay, and this last question that we have is from Fred. Uh, he says, our dealership only has a showroom and a remote repair uh, facility. Uh, do I file for both or just one? Um, great question. 
what what we've seen is that auto dealerships themselves generally don't inventory uh, many hazardous chemicals or hazardous materials, but with with two or three properties owned by a single entity, the filing would cover all three. Uh, so so the answer is we'd file on the repair facility or the auto shops if they're remote, and the, the showroom would would probably if that's where mail is delivered, we'd file with that as the addressee. Thanks for listening to this webinar and if you have any questions you can call us at 516-624-7200 or you can email me directly my name is joe heaney president of walden associates and i'm at j h e a n e y at walden w a l d e n dash a s s o c dot com or in my absence, you can ask for Adita or Kristen. Thanks again for listening.